he has the opportunity uh, to come in in the reposition to ask some questions regarding our Guru Maharaj, so to watch on it. So we want to know, when did you first meet with our Guru Maharaj, so to watch on it? Do you remember this? I first met Subhag Maharaj when he came to Vrindavan in 1975. He and uh, Prajendra named that swam. At that time, I think they were both the uh, uh, brahmacharis. Uh, I don't quite remember whether they joined the Vrindavan Yatra or whether they were just visiting because the, that temple had just been opened a few months before and Ram Lodi and uh, so we had a steady flow of devotees coming in from other Islam centers to see the Krishna Balarama because that was our first custom built temple in uh, India and uh, so the two of them, you'll have to check this, but I think that the two of them did stay for some time uh, in the Krishna Balaram Mandir. Uh, yeah. In which month it was? Uh, Ram Nirmala. Well, Ram Nirmala was April. Um, the Bag Maharaj, I think maybe he, he may have come to a mass of me time, uh -huh. maybe. Uh -huh. Let me see. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I mean, obviously it was the second half of the year. But, uh, so, uh, Prabhu, you began a personal Sarvana Shiva Prabhupada. You are very. <laughs> Your position was very high. So, do you remember you have any personal interaction with our Guru Maharaj Sri Any other um, interaction? No, really. Um, I was traveling with Prabhupada. Uh, but Prabhupada didn't like people just hanging around. So, other devotees were always out preaching. <laughs> And uh, Prabhupada was trying to get uh, his books translated into Bangla. Um, and I believe there's some instruction there from Prabhupada for Maharaj to mm -hmm. translate his books. Mm -hmm. Back to Maharaj, which he also was trying to to the that service. So um, uh, I didn't personally have any real interactions with it. Um, like many preachers, he would come in and make a report and go back out. So, uh, yeah. And in the 1977, uh, last year, uh, that Subhagamara was present in Vrindavan, mm -hmm. I had, it was, uh, he was there <coughs> in 1977. Um, in 1977 I left Rampai, I left his personal service, uh, in March of 77. Mm -hmm. got very, very sick. Uh, he missed uh, attending the Lokuna uh, festival in my And um, then uh, Prabhupada sent me back to Australia. Mm -hmm. So he met me at GBC. And um, after that, in May, Prabhupada coming up to Rishikesh, uh, some like number, there's a thousand available. Uh, 
I, I, I can't remember what it's a bag knowledge with the path here. It was like 10 days before, Prabhupada left. Uh, so I was in the now, he told me. And that time he was taking care of some time to go to the Mathura hospital for the Prabhupada exam. Right. Mm -hmm. So I have, I have asked Kamal Krishna Maharaj to put me in as Prabhupada's visiting GBC secretary. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a system by which any GBC man, they could walk in for one month and travel with Prabhupada. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I booked the month of October for, for mm -hmm. being Prabhupada's. Uh, GBC secretary. So um, I had arrived in uh, Mumbai on the 29th of September mm -hmm. and um, the, the day that I arrived in the evening, Prabhupada called all the senior devotees into his room and uh, asked whether we should remain in Bombay because the temple was near, near completion or should we uh, or should we go back to Vrindavan mm. so um, we all voted that we should go back to Vrindavan because there's no guarantee when the temple will be open in Bombay mm -hmm. and um, the Prabhupada's condition was mm -hmm. badly deteriorated physically mm -hmm. and so um, we just felt that uh, it would be better for Prabhupada to, uh, to go back to Vrindavan and in fact I, uh, when I was asked to give my vote um, because I've just arrived from Australia, so I was a little spaced out. I, just said. I wasn't quite tuned into the mood in the party. So I asked Prabhupada, is it for preaching or is it for help? And uh, he said it's for help. So I also wanted to put it down. So that was it, that same night I was sent to uh, Delhi. Mm -hmm. uh, the next morning I went with Bhagavata Shraya Prabhu, who was the temple president at that time. Uh, and uh, we had one life member who was, really, wasn't exactly a life member, who was a friend of the devotees. And uh, he had a, a, a wooden furniture business, wood age, and uh, he, um, he was operating out of his house and uh, so we went to see him and we asked him if the Prabhupada's going to come from Dad and we need to put a double bed size for Prabhupada to lie on. Because uh, the, the rooms in Brindavan are quite small. Mm. The bathroom and bedroom are very small. And they make make size huh? in, in the back. Mm. So I wouldn't. We knew everybody's going to come. You know, want to be the problem? Mm. I don't know how we going to fit everybody in. So we uh, we decided to buy a double bed. And uh, now we've got the accoutrements, uh, you know, uh, a mattress twice as thick, mm -hmm. so that it would you know, not get hard, uh, and uh, yeah, various other small items. So once we got that dispatched from Delhi to Vrindavan. Uh, 
then um, I rang to know Krishna Maharaj and uh, he had get, you know, it was okay to come. So um, October the second or third, we came by train. And October. No, uh, no matter. From Mumbai. Yeah. Um, and then um, various devotees started coming in. And, uh, mm. Most of the GVCs, of course. Uh, um, well, many of them didn't stay very long. Uh, but uh, back to Chiru Maharaj, uh, he had been sent a message, Prabhupada's come back to Vrindavan, come immediately. We had some discussion about um, we, were, we, we had constant discussion about Prabhupada's physical state and to some extent his mental state. Um, so um, Back to Chiru Maharaj came, I'm not sure whether Subang Maharaj was there or not for the, you know, mm -hmm. like, that was the last six weeks. Yeah. In the last day he was not there, and the day before he, he came back to my Yeah, so that was not there in the last. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's I'm afraid as much as I can say. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I mean, uh, he was a pocket voice now. Yeah. yeah. He was a very gentle person. Uh, how old is he now? 74 or something? What was the question you gave me, Peter? You said something. I was thinking that if you you are going to write a book about Guru Maharaj's biography, so a statement from your side so that we can put it down. Yeah, okay. I can, I can just do a paragraph. Okay. So, so I didn't have much association with Sabang Maharaj. Um, there's only one, one interaction I remember. Um, when Prabhupada came back to Mayapur in uh, 1976 and um, Subhag Maharaj was there and uh, oh, it might have been 76 or 77 uh, anyway Maharaj was there and Prabhupada had gone on his morning walk mm -hmm. And then uh, came back, greeted the deities, and his puja, and then he had a class. But he wasn't feeling that well, so he gave a very short class. Mm -hmm. And um, he took everybody by surprise by asking individually some of the devotees to repeat what he had said. And, um, I think Chutananda Swami said something, uh, but I could see that everybody was panicking <laughs> because no. you know, they weren't expecting to be asked to repeat it. So, uh, so Bagmar I just got up on the microphone and he was so uh, nervous that he, he couldn't get it out. So after a minute, Prabhupada fell down. That was in English, no? Yeah. Speaking English, that was, the interaction was in English, no? Prabhupada, Subhagmaraj. 
in English. Of the class. Yeah. Oh, in English. Yeah. Yeah. yeah in English. Prabhupada did all this preaching in India and in English. Yeah. I mean, there were pandals and sometimes some meetings. Naturally, sometimes people would come in and dark show and speak in Hindi. But uh, Prabhupada's mission was in English. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Boris, he said it was very important. One uh, pseudo follower of Prabhupada once told me he was, he was this fellow was learning some Sanskrit. So he was becoming a booker kind of ethos. And um, he was quite proud of, about telling me that this old glories, the assembled devotees, uh, this is not required to say that. And it was just something that Prabhupada spoke it in English, all the glories. Because we were Western and Sanskrit. But that means that he missed the entire point. That, that saying all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees, mm -hmm. all glories mm -hmm. to the assembled devotees. That's Prabhupada's mission. Mm. It's in English. <laughs> you may have, because this, this man he told me, he said, we're already, we already say that uh, in, yeah. in the Dwanas. So he missed the point that saying it in English, that is proper. Nobody else does it in English. Yeah. Oh, okay. And after Srila Prabhupada left the planet, you know, uh, like uh, end of 1970, any other interaction in my uh, in uh, Mr. Maharaj after Prabhupada left? Yeah. Any any other discussion particular about the movement after Prabhupada, uh, the mission, anything exchange from there sometime? I have no idea what Mr. Maharaj was doing after Prabhupada. Yeah. Um, I mean, in the early, in the early 80s, or the end of the 70s, mm -hmm. 1978, uh, I had gone with the devotee, Nora Mandala Bhumi Das, to Indonesia, and was born and uh, opened up preaching Valley also. Mm. So I was involved a lot with the development of the uh, Balinese and Indonesian natures. Uh, but the uh, Subai so Maharaj came in after that. So I know he's got the suckles there. Mm. He's also quite pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I guess that's about as close as I got with him. Uh, unless you're doing something, yeah. some service with someone. Yeah. Yeah. Then what is it to say? Yeah. Yeah. All right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you.